Hi there. Oh, that, 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 here. oh, oh, oh. Hi there. It's me, Walter Magoo, grandson of J. Quincy Magoo, or as you probably know him best, Mr. After my grandfather, Mr. Magoo, was viciously torn apart when he fell into that tiger cage he thought was a taxi cab, it inspired me to open up Magoo Motors. So come on down, get yourself into a car, get yourself into a truck, get yourself into an SUV. I think I hear a customer coming now. Now, I can sure help you a lot better if you let me know what kind of car you want to get. Ah, the strong, silent type, huh? You drive a hard bargain, but I'll tell you what, 50% off any car in the lot. Well, hello, beautiful. They say the uh, hardest language to speak is the truth, but I am fluent and you are more breathtaking than my lowest price. Maybe she'll take a car home. Or better yet, me. <laughs> oh, Magoo, you rascal. Sir! Sir! Can I help you with a new car today? Uh, no. No? Well, then what are you getting into this car for here? If you're not looking to buy, what are you, a robber? This is my car. Well, then what's it doing on my lot? This isn't a car lot. This is an insurance sales place. Why, sir, this is Magoo Motors, the finest car lot in the world. Magoo Motors? That burned down like a month ago. Uh, no. Hey, wait a minute. You're Walter Magoo. That's right. I'm Walter Magoo. Everyone thought you died in the fire. The fire? Have a good day. Big fan of your dad's. So long. Oh, I guess, uh, don't come to Magoo Motors. It's gone now. Or Magoo. That silly yeah. goose. What are you doing there? I learned in fat camp it's best to sit like Russell Brand. Well, I mean, he's popular. I know. I like Russell. He's Brings very live. me peace. Yeah. That's why I'm crisscross applesauce. Brings you inner peace? You have no idea how painful this is. <laughs> Looks painful. <laughs> I was seeing if I could do it. You're turning red. <laughs> and the camera started. I could do it. Can you do it? Yeah, that's easy. Look at that. Look at you. Yeah. I remember back in the day they used to call it Indian style. Oh. When I was a kid, it was Indian style. Oh, yeah, Indian style. We also made oh, Indian mom. headdresses for Thanksgiving. That's a different Indian, though. Yeah. Wait, no, it's not. Yeah. Oh, no, we made... No, we I made... thought that was the same Indian. Mm -hmm. No, no, we made turbans. No, because people in India sit like that on the floor. That's what I thought, right? Well, yeah, they do, but I no? thought also Indians sat like that in a circle, and they did a... Oh. oh. Yeah. I'm also part make... Indian, okay? Everybody Are you really? Settle down. I am, actually. All black people seem to be also part Indian. I'm not even going <laughs> to throw it in there. It's true, though. There's a, it's always a mix of that, too. Yeah, chick is saw, bro. Oh. Ah, boy. Put that. Full victim, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, but most of it's uh, German. That's why it's so white over here. Is that what it is? Yeah, take Are you it, a lot take of German? all the other ones, yeah. Boy, you really picked the other race to not apologize. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> He was, before the show started, he was like, it's the Jews, it's all their fault. He was, he's like, we're just we, screaming we at finished. nobody. Yeah, we, we were recording. He heard this right. flat. <laughs> Trying to get that info out there. Oh, yeah, it was crazy. Oh, wait, we who were... are you guys? Oh, pfft, uh, me? Uh, Hi. Yeah. Welcome back to Normal World. I'm Dave Landau. I'm Garrett. I'm Angela. Hey, Angela. I'm the, the guest show? today. You clap, yeah. Welcome just back. Just, yeah. That's a good We missed you though. Thank you. Yeah. I was I was at Fat Camp. I was doing pretty good. You losing yeah. the LBs? I was losing the LBs. It was funny to see how many people thought I was in rehab. <laughs> I saw that too. <laughs> like I don't know that bunk bed looked like you're in rehab. Yeah.
Because that's what they would do. They'd put you in a child's yeah. room. With My a- rehab didn't have bunk beds. You could jump off the top of a bunk bed with it, some shoelaces. You could hang yourself in <laughs> yeah. it. That would be the issue. Uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was a little place for my son, so it was pretty cool. Get playing some baseball, doing some ATV in. I never ridden an ATV uh, really? before. Dude, ATV. Properly. Oh, crap, say. dude. They're so fucking awesome. Dude, it was awesome. Like, Is it just I, like a glorified four-wheeler? Yeah, okay. four-wheeler. Yeah, it's the oh, same okay. thing. It's the same. It was a four-wheeler, literally. Oh, okay. Like, I, well, I'd never really ridden one, like, as a grown-up. Do you do ramps? Uh, that's the best part. We were, no, we did trails. Okay, I mean, that's still good. How yeah, yeah. Did you get up to, like, what was the speed? Probably like 40, 45, like, right in there. Yeah. yeah. Where it starts that's feeling dangerous. No, yeah, nothing crazy, because my son was on the back, and, you know, we were with a guide, because I didn't want to be, I don't want to be paralyzed. Yeah. There's nothing, there's no worse feeling than a dad who paralyzes his son. Yeah. <laughs> you might, might as well just kill him or at that worse. point. <laughs> you want to look worse. at him every day. Yeah. Kobe. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, that one, one, time, one time I went off of a ramp and on the other side there were two trees that were exactly the, the width apart of the ATV. Oh, really? I was in the air and I was like, there, that's it. All right. See you, Jesus. And then I, whoo, right between. Like right between it, man. I was so like close that shot it. in a movie where you just yeah, missed just the like made... truck. Yeah. My friend it wasn't my ATV. <laughs> my friend who was rich, he had a private lake when we were growing up and it he one of us flipped it up and and his dad helicoptered in a new one. What? And I was like, Your dad's the coolest and he goes, My dad's never hugged me and I was like, Wow, that's a lot to unpack. I'm gonna go keep getting high. But the ATVs are pretty cool. Yeah. Well your dad buys you cool stuff even though he don't love you. He's making up for it. But I do love my son, and that's why I was spending time with him. Quality time, everybody. Yeah. That's what's important. Crisscross applesauce. My legs are numb. I was gonna say, are you guys just gonna? I don't know. Keep doing I, it. Are I you? Can do do it you need all help? Day, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I'm pretty sure when I go to stand, my toes are gonna fall off like glass. <laughs> <laughs> are you getting the spiky? <laughs> shrivel up like yeah. a spiky witch. feeling. Oh, I had them when the show started, Angela. <laughs> but, okay. I'm gonna, there it is. You gonna stretch? Okay. I'm giving up on it. That's fine. Okay. I think five, six, one ninety is a good weight. All right. So anyway, um, <laughs> over the weekend, what happened? Uh, over the weekend, well, uh, sadly, there was a. Uh, there's been a fire in Maui. Was it was last. Yeah, it was last. It was last. We moved on. Old to, news. Uh, so, yeah, boring. Uh, but you can. <laughs> <laughs> you can donate. Uh, you can donate yeah. at um, Biden's a good president dot org. <laughs> Uh, he actually compared the fires in Maui uh, to him almost losing a cat. And may I stress, almost losing a cat and a car. Go ahead. Here's a clip. I don't want to compare difficulties, but we have a little sense, Jill and I, what it's like to lose a home. Years ago, now <laughs> no, 15 don't. years ago, I was in Washington doing Meet the Press. And it was a sunny Sunday. And lightning struck at Ukulele. home. nice. Mm-hmm. On a little lake that's outside of our home, not a lake, a big pond. <laughs> and hit Guy a wire and hell. came up underneath our home into the heating ducts, the air conditioning duct. To make a long story short, <laughs> I almost lost my wife, my 67 Corvette, <laughs> and my cat. So to make a long story short, I won't be. <laughs> I'll be continuing on with a lot of extra detail that you Breathy, don't care about. Extra detail. Yes. I, so I'm not wearing a necklace. I just fell into a shrub. So his almost burning down of his house was okay. a lightning strike somewhere else hit power lines and on went into day. his... On a Sunday. On a sunny Sunday. Wasn't that a wife's tale? Like I, always, I remember getting off of like my Sega Genesis when it was storming because my mom was like, hey, it could lightning and... and Electric you through the controller, so, so we always got off of it. That was a lie. So what actually happened? That's what I thought. So what I, according to a report from the time, the lightning strike caused a small fire contained in the kitchen, and it was under control in twenty minutes. Oh, so <laughs> not that. Oh, so that's basically <laughs> like saying that JFK's assassination ruined his haircut. <laughs> well, it did. I saw the people floating in <laughs> Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, it made me think of whenever leaves get into my pool. Yeah, that's sad. That's that tragic. Oh, is it above ground? Clean. That makes it doubly sad. Hmm. Oh, uh, well. No, it's below ground. Oh, oh, good. Because I'm not rich. a peasant. Oh, good. <laughs> Please, I'm not a pleb. You're not, you're not garbage. <laughs> Nothing says I don't want to stay at your house like you're above ground pool. <laughs> <laughs> 
gross. <laughs> it's gr- it's always green, green and stuff. You know. Yeah. yeah. Is, is there anything funnier than when somebody like tries to dive in their above ground pool and <laughs> then they're in a blow chair the rest of their life? Well, it's like, wow, now you have two <laughs> crappy things. <laughs> <laughs> you can get around. Ah, oh, kids. Mm. Anyway, speaking of people that stay awake, back to Biden. Oh yeah, he fell asleep. Oh, he met, with, he met with some of the victims oh, while there. Totally conked out. <laughs> this is the vo- this it's is the sleepy footage. work. <laughs> well, he did have to make that long, endearing speech. <laughs> he really took the wind out of it. Yeah, he was a little worn out there. It sounds boring, though. That's true. I mean, they're like, I'm the not allowed to say that as the president. I'm allowed to. It sounds a little more yeah, riveting than I don't know his speech. Yeah. <laughs> And then he's out there like, oh, man, I, I almost lost my wife, my Corvette, which is all I care about, and a cat. And my cat. My cat. Who that I cat named, out of its misery. I named him Beaker. That's what I call my son cooking meth in. <laughs> Got him a cat to distract him. Yep. You know what he did to the cat? <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. It's on the lap. Didn't even have to say it. <laughs> He made a movie out of it. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of movie stars, you do a good Drew Barrymore. You do. Thank you. <laughs> I felt like she was in the room. She really does, though. Yes, my grandfather is legendary filmmaker John Barrymore. Wow. That's all I got. Wow. That's really good. Thanks. I used to write her letters when I was a kid. Did you really? Yeah. Really? Just, yeah. I got really obsessive about people and stuff when I was a kid. That's good though. No, it's that's not okay good. as a kid. You know, no, you're like... I found some people's houses. Oh, so did I. Oh, so you like you Googled them and like I tracked them down. That. Yeah, I... but that's beside the point. In '95, I found Nicole Brown Simpson's. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got there just anyway. Uh, <laughs> just, just, just in time, just in time. Uh, to, uh, to see it happen. So close. Yeah, so close. <laughs> to do yeah. nothing. Yeah, that's why the <laughs> someone else did it. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Should try the glove. Yeah, it, that's why it didn't fit OJ. That's they, right. They were for my <laughs> little baby hands, my lady fingers. <laughs> well, Drew Barrymore, I don't know if you've heard about this. What happened, Drew Barrymore? She was escorted off stage after a stalker found her. Angela, maybe you know about it. <laughs> what oh, people? Oh my God! Say, yes. Hi. I'm Chad Michael Busto. You know who I am. Uh, I no, I don't. I'll see you at some point while I'm here in New York City. Uh oh. She did seem excited that to see was, him. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's I feel like she's a like really affable person. She's like really yeah. like, hey, come on, everybody, give a hug. Let's cry about it. We actually do have a picture of him though, in case you didn't get to see him in that shot. It was a little small. Oh, great picture. Oh, okay. Right there. All that checks out. Makes makes a lot of sense. I guess they used to do a lot of blow back in the day yeah. together at Studio Fifty Four. Yeah. <laughs> he's massive. He's really grown in the, in yeah, the decades. Well, he was a kid back then, so was she. Yeah, it makes sense. I guess yeah. <laughs> she's kind of got it together, and he's still partying. Yeah, sad to see. Yeah, yeah. You know, some people do get their lives together. She does funny stuff, like her show, I guess. Yeah, she had a show. She does. She has a show. Yeah, yeah it's a talk show. Have you seen it? No, it's it's the worst thing that's ever <laughs> been put on television. Besides, maybe I think there's a there's a show called The Real. Oh yeah, that's t- and it's what a, is the real? It's a ghetto version of The View. It's, yes, The View with and like The View is already ghetto. Yeah, but it's, it's a, like, even more ghetto than that. Oh, it's breathtaking. Oh, we gotta really watch this it show. Out. We yeah. it's it's probably my favorite show that's ever been put on TV. <laughs> what is it called again? The, the real. real. The real. Yeah. The real. We're talking Yo, about that the real. real. Yeah. Welcome back to the real. It's yeah. It's the ghetto version. But uh, there's a woman on there who I did a show with named Lonnie Love, who I like. Oh yeah, she's good. Yeah, Lonnie's good. She's from Detroit. But then there's just other ones on there where it's like, well, this young gal has a clock and gold teeth like Flavor Flav, <laughs> <laughs> and she's <laughs> she's representing. <laughs> Yeah, Lonnie's cool. It's the real. She's funny. She I did a show called Comedy.tv with her some time ago with Eddie Ift, who was here. Really? Oh. Not too long ago. Yeah. Connections. I'm sure you you've can... heard of Comedy.tv. It's a massively successful show. Who has it? I, that's <laughs> everybody's favorite. You guys, you guys remember yeah. staying up late and watching that on whatever channel it was? It was whatever channel. Yeah, you remember. <laughs> yeah. I believe that's it a was a different thing now. It was the CW at 1 14 a.m. <laughs> Do you guys remember those like 
weird, awful judge shows that used to come on really late at night on like non- Judge Joe Brown. Team. Not joking. Uh, they filmed in the same place as the show I just mentioned. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's like a really dorky guy one, and it's like revenge court or something. Okay, we're getting. Uh, no, I, mean, I, we're getting I, I feel like we but... need a whole segment on just this show. Yes. Well, it started as People's Court, where you had right. Wapner. Well, and it just I've seen slowly that. digressed. And it's like gotten worse into, and worse. Into like, oh, she stole my peanuts on my flight. And it's like, oh, you, then she has the right to like douse you in peanuts. Yeah. Stop stop talking, because I think we should do this segment. We will. Yes. Well, and we the bailiff is the best. Sherry O'Terry <laughs> as Judge Judy, though, on SNL at the time was one of my favorite things. Yeah. Steve Buscemi came on as a dancer. <laughs> Somebody was suing him for doing a bad job dancing at her bachelor party. <laughs> and he gets out and he does this terrible dance. She goes, I got to tell you, I was a regular at uh, 54 back in, that's why I think it reminded me of, it's Studio 54 back in the 80s. And not only do you cut a rug, sir, but you weave it and you shake it out the door. <laughs> <laughs> I loved all those judge shows. Though. We do have to do a we whole thing. To, we should do a judge We should show. bring in just like normal people in here and we actually judge them. Normal Let's do court. It. Normal court. Normal court. <laughs> normal court. <laughs> Because Judge Joe Brown was another guy from Detroit. Because there's always one guy. I love Judge Joe Brown. Yeah, because he's like, when I was seven, I murdered 47 people. (laughs) And then when I got out, now I judge you. (laughs) Great. Awesome. (laughs) So excited to be judged. We have to do it. We have to bring people in and judge them. That'll be so much fun. The real court. The real Real court. Real normal court. (laughs) Normal court. With your boy. And we all have big gold chains. and. Oh, yeah, absolutely. (laughs) We have to have like wigs, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, corny, you mean like corny the, big wigs in like in Canada. Like the British ones? Like, yeah. They wear those. They still wear them. Yeah. They, they still wear the, the yes. syphilis mm-hmm. wigs. Yes. The yes. pube wig, yeah. And the, the big dum dum yeah. wigs, yes. It's got to be weird to put on a big powdered wig to be like, you get life in prison for <laughs> Take me seriously. Rape. For murder rape? Murder rape. <laughs> You've done all. You right. don't live in a silly country. No. I'm going to put on a wig and send and shoot to jail. Pip, pip. Beep, 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 beep. Here you <laughs> Off with you. Off to the loo for 20. <laughs> now we're going to have tea and crumpets. Crumpets. Fr- I made crumpets. Cumber sandwiches. You made. <laughs> have you ever had a crumpet? I have. I've never had a cr- crumpet, but I looked them up and they look freaking awesome. I'm sorry, you what? They look awesome. I say that again. They look awesome. They don't, though. But they don't taste good. No. No. Because no British food they're, does. Like, uh, they're like little thick pancakes with like a little like a bunch of dots kind of like an english muffin but not yeah they I made they, them and they were gross yeah, they're disgusting they're very salty yeah the english aren't great at food no no they they sell things at, at restaurants that are it's like just mashed up peas yeah it's, peas. Like, it's something that people are supposed to eat correct yeah, they love them they have a thing called wait. cucumber sandwiches gross like somebody goes what kind of what what do you want to eat son and he'll be like oh mother i love cucumber sandwich <laughs> And they'll go, I'll make it right for you. <laughs> and then that's why... Do you like anything else in that sandwich? No, just the cucumbers, oh. please. Slice mm-hmm. really thin. Oh, mother, should I build a wall? <laughs> Eating a cucumber sandwich. Hush, my baby, baby. Cucumber it sounds sandwich. like you have a bad habit of eating too many cucumber sandwiches. I do. That's what the doctor said when I was in fad camp. Yeah. That's he right. said, have <laughs> yeah, you been eating too many cumbers? <laughs> cumbers. Sonny boy, do you know how many carbs are in those cucumber sandwiches? I said, how many? He goes, six. A lot. <laughs> so many. Six. Do you like you, mayo? If you had to break that habit, what would you do? If I had to break a cucumber sandwich habit just because I loved it, to eat them, I would probably use fume. Have you heard of it? No. Oh my God, I love fume. It's really great because like it tastes good and it fixes the oral fixation that I have for cucumber yes. sandwiches. It's definitely... And it actually tastes good unlike mouth. cucumber sandwiches. And it's just air. What? This thing? There's zero <laughs> carbs. Masterful. Because if you're going to go ahead and have a bad habit and you want it broken, I would go ahead and step in to oh. some fume. Give it a twirl. I would if there was I one t- in I here, but it. she stole it I already. took it because I actually do really like it, and it's helping me a lot. Uh, break my bad habit that I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's none of your business, uh-uh. to be honest. But um, well, I don't know how that's going to keep you from stalking Drew Barrymore, but well, go on. It- it takes the edge off a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's really awesome. I was really surprised by the flavors. I used the cool mint one and 
What flavors really do they good. have? They have grapefruit. They have maple pepper one. They have uh, maple cranberry. pepper. I was surprised by. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, I, I was a little. You. No, no, no. But really, I was surprised that they're like really strong because you just kind of expect it to be not that flavorful. Like right. But yeah, it's not. There's nothing in it that's that's harmful or anything. It's just uh, it's just air. And just air, you say? I can click it like this because I have. Listen to that ASMR. Problems. You can get it a little closer to the, to the mic there. Ooh, you like that? <laughs> squeak it, squeak it, squeak it, squeak it. Mm. That's but, a no, bad it's habit. Really, it's really fun to uh, to mess with. But anyway, I like it. So I'll go ahead and go, if you want it, use code NORMAL to save 10% off with your journey pack. Head to trifume.com slash normal and use code NORMAL to save an additional 10% off. That could be you. Your order that today. Guy. Right there. Trifume.com, code NORMAL. Maple pepper. Trifum.com. He and I have the same body. That. There's an umlaut over the U. Mm. He's been to fat camp. <laughs> umlaut. He has, and he survived. Yeah, that's how he stopped eating the cumbers. <laughs> what was the Speaking other bad of... habit you had? Because I what was that? Yeah, oh. we came up with other ones. <laughs> oh, going down to the bank. I like to go down to the <laughs> yes. bank and lick all the pens that are attached to chains. Of the finger taste. The finger Do you go taste. all the way down to the base? Well, it depends. <laughs> yeah, slurp it up like a <laughs> spaghetti. It depends how quick the manager can stop me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Then <we're> <laughs> it's mine. Some of them let me go. <laughs> you have to pull. Yeah. I mean, it's got a tangy yeah, taste just, to it. Yeah. As they're carrying you out, it's just completely coming out. <laughs> yeah. like, a, like a handkerchief. Do that, do that a sound. Magic trick. You do this. Uh, that's what it sounds like. Coming right out. But wet. <laughs> <laughs> what a bad habit. Speaking of fat camp. Yeah. Fat Bottom Girls. Did you canceled. meet me at camp? What? Fat Bottom Girls? No, it was boys only. Ugh. Oh. But some of us wanted to swim across the lake to meet the fat girls at the other cabin. <laughs> mm -hmm. Long story short, they drowned. Oh. Well, I mean, that's obvious. I know. Like, yeah. I mean, really. It's, well, actually, it's I, the idea, I take that back. I, I, I am incorrect. I feel like they would float. It was a mistake to have canoes there. Yeah, it was. Well, realistically, there's just a lot of t-shirts that are left white t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Fat, dead, <laughs> white t-shirts. Like Oh, uh, that reminds me of Katrina. It does. It's so sad. Oh, man. that uh, You know, that reminds me of the time I almost lost my cat. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> so the song got canceled. Yeah. Well, you know what else is not acceptable now? Queen. Well, the band itself, <laughs> the entire thing, <laughs> named after homosexuality. He also died of AIDS, which I feel the like that they would embrace that. Why is this being canceled? What's the details here? So, it, <laughs> there, uh, it was removed from I a greatest Queen. hits release for kids. Why? Because it says I'm gonna explode. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, <laughs> you can drink it up, slurp it up, <laughs> <laughs> slurp it up. Like, but um, I let my son listen to Queen. I mean, there's yeah, so me too. Bad yeah. songs out there. I mean, it's not like it's. Uh, Big Dick Energy by Lotto. <laughs> yeah, it's not WAP. No, you know. But you also let him listen. Well, to yeah, on the well, lure. I mean, yeah. I mean, he needs it, to have some taste. It, it only has not perfect four other words than the ones I just named. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was. That's why it was. So removed. all the it's other kids. songs were included on this album except for Fat Bottom Girls. Yeah. Well, I mean, fat phobia. That is fat phobia. Well, also they make the rock and world go round. They do. Yeah, make it's the a rock. compliment. It is great. And also, how often did Freddie Mercury sing about girls? Yeah, that's true. I mean, when you do think about it, every... Song for everybody. Yeah, but We Will Rock You is a, a sports song. Yeah. And then you have... When I think sports, I think Freddie Mercury. You kind of do. Yeah. Absolutely. But you do. It's, it's kind it's of funny, so funny that you do. Yeah, like I love... <laughs> look, I love like, Queen. Boom, I don't boom. care what anybody says. Boom, boom. My son plays it on drums. It's such a great I'm not anthem. Gonna, he doesn't know what there's parts in that, uh, what that means. You don't need to know that. I have to be like, son, I don't stop and go listen. This part, which you probably think is about a rocket. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> Guess Turns what? Out. They should ban every song then. What other, what, of, what other ones do you know. think? Rocket oh. Man. Huh? Yeah. Elton John. Rocket Man? Oh, yeah, What's wrong why? with that one? Rocket Man. What's wrong Talking with about it? penises. It's too masculine. It's rocket, too masculine. rocket man, rocket humans, yeah. rocket yeah. man, burning, burning out his fumes, rocket binary people, <laughs> burning out there. They, them, <laughs> not alone, supported by all <laughs> the allies, people 
accepting <laughs> fumes, <laughs> pens. What about <laughs> jungle love for singling out love in the jungle because deserts need love too? Is it more that's, like that's a jungle a fever thing? Well, Maybe that's why. That's a bad term. Oh my that's God. true. Joe Biden that's said true. racial jungle. No, but it's, it's saying, connected. it's saying, do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's promoting. It's saying, yeah, it's saying. Yeah, but jungle's black, not. White, for, whatever. But it's also like jungle fever. You're saying that that should be just in the jungle. That's not right. Oh, true. Yeah. And okay. what about uh, what about a little less conversation by Elvis? Huh? That should be banned just for disrespecting your whore. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? You shouldn't like, be rude to your whore. No, you should let she's, your. She's lovely. Let your whore converse. She's <laughs> able to talk. <laughs> Just because what she's saying is nonsensical. True. These boots are made for walking because not everybody has feet. That's true. Nancy uh, can even have boots. Yeah, Nancy Sinatra may have had feet, but that doesn't mean everybody else had them. It's just implying. So ableist. That's just what she's going to do. She's going to take her able-bodied feet. Ableist. Yeah, and walk all over you. But what about Wheels McGillicuddy? <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Crip Daddy. Oh, yeah. Crip Daddy. Man, I saw that. My buddy Garrett did a uh, uh, different Garrett, obviously, but my buddy Garrett did a podcast with him and Compound. Man, so RIP. I, I never got to well. see him and meet him in real life, but we we exchanged stuff on on Twitter. Yeah, well, I knew him too. He's yeah. Such a good guy. Yeah, RIP, Crip Daddy. And it, uh, Stan Willing up to head right last now. night that they put he's putting out a comedy special. So are they? Yeah. they just put it out. So check it out. Yeah, they did. Mm. Go watch it. Crip Daddy's awesome. RIP. Man, it just made it really bummer. Walk This Way by Run DMC. You guys just made me think about it because some people are in wheelchairs. That's true. Go. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point because not everybody can walk this way. No. Some people have scoliosis. <laughs> they walk a different Yeah, way. they can only curve this way. <laughs> what about I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas? Obvious. That's yeah. obvious when it's racism. It's white. It's too white. What if your Christmas isn't white? What if you live in Arizona? You're not allowed to have Christmas? Yeah. There's no, a lot I... Bing Crosby. What kind of name is Bing anyways? Yeah. Bing. Bing. Yeah, Bing. Bing. You gonna name your kid that? Do you want to call him Bing? We're going to hit him anyway. It's 1930. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Bing yeah, is we just named the... him after the sound yeah. that we made when we hit him. <laughs> when I hit him with a baseball bat. Yeah, they waited till he was three to name him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dreaming. Bing is a... Oh, man. I like Bing Crosby, too. Bing Crosby's awesome. I really yeah. did like Bing Crosby. I like that whole era of when men were men. Yeah. Man. Even the that. little men. You didn't no. like it? No. You didn't like the back when like women were women? No. You don't like cooking? I like it now. I like uh, a little You're bit of mystery. Trad. I like a little bit of like, mm, what's up with that? You don't like when Mar Marilyn Monroe started saying too much, so the CIA jammed a bunch of pills in her face and pretended she OD'd? Uh, Answer the question, <laughs> Angela. I liked that. Okay. You're into it? I'm into it. So let's Good. pretend we like a little bit of now and a little bit of then. Okay. If you, that's what you want. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Start wearing a dress. All right. <gasps> smile more. There's other songs that we can band too. I had a homeless man tell me that I should smile more when I was giving him really? money. Yes. I, Dude, I would yank that money I was back. Like, I'd be like, no, don't tell fucker. me what to do. No, like yeah. I was giving him money at a... <laughs> At a stoplight, and he goes, "You'd be a whole lot prettier if you smiled." And I was like, "Are you fucking for real right now?" Hey, why don't you ease up, Dale Carnegie? <laughs> yeah, like, ah. Uh, but he already had the money at that point, right? He was like mid grab. Yeah, mid grab. I mean, I'm, I'm a coward, so I'm not gonna take it back. You should have mid grabbed. You should have. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be prettier if you smiled more. I feel like, That's funny. are you giving advice? I was like, I'm like, bro, you'd be prettier if you took a bath. Yeah. Did you ever think about smiling more, sir, at any job interview? Ever? <laughs> Get a job, you know? I don't know. <laughs> uh, sir, you should try harder. Is that, you like that? <laughs> Ever? You should have tried You'd once. You'd have more money if you yeah. had a job. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, after it happened, I was like, man, there's some good zingers I should have used. But don't instead you I hate went, that? Uh, yeah. Uh, you could have like, always Here's just, my money, sir. You're right. I should just smile. Just back over him. <laughs> You know, you did the right thing, though. Hit reverse. You let him live, and that's going to hurt more. Yeah. Speaking of which, give me shelter. That would offend him. Oh, well, yeah. He doesn't have any. <laughs> yeah. Rolling Stones. <laughs> that song's not one. for everybody. All those yeah. songs are out. What are we doing with all these songs? We put them in, like, a playlist. Rape, murder. Just a shout away. <laughs> that's the song. Oh. Updating it for modern audiences. It's true. Girls just want to have fun. What is fun? I think fun is non-binary. 
I think yeah. guys want to have fun too. And just want to have fun. Yes, they just want to have fun. You say yeah. pimps? No, zers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, pimps do want to have fun too. They do. They always have. They fun. arguably have more fun than True. their counterparts. Well, yeah, it's an arrangement, though. <laughs> it's well, it's pretty really, one-sided. I don't know if it's arrangement. I don't know. It's more of well, one's afraid. Garrett's on the side of the pimps. I'm on the side of the pimps. I mean, they're they're just hustling. He they're buys a gold chain, and all of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't like my gold chain? No, I like it a lot. I got this at the anime. Convention. <laughs> Were you at the anime convention? I went to yeah, I went to Anime Matsuri, which is a hundred percent the gayest thing I've ever seen. There was one in in Zany's last week in really? Rosemont, Illinois last week. Really? And yeah. I kept opening the show with I just ran over a squirrel and then I realized there's an anime convention in town. <laughs> and they're like, hey! I could, oh, we, we were asked to go there and do a the, panel. Seriously, I was in the in the elevator with like a flying squirrel and a pumpkin, and I was like, "What happened, <laughs> yeah, dude?" <laughs> not my scene. Not my scene. They asked us to go go there and do a panel. We did like a YouTuber panel, and uh, we were in our YouTuber area, just like shaking hands and saying hello to people. And I was like, "Let's just walk the floor, see what's out there. Yeah, maybe there's something interesting. I don't know. I'm not really into anime that much." Uh, and then I got out there and I was like, "Nope, just dudes dressed as French maids. That's like it." It's what I that noticed. Entails. Too much, bro. Not a lot then of... Then I saw this, and I was like, yeah, I gotta get that. <laughs> Who was selling it? It was like this, uh, a jeweler from Dallas. Oh, so he it was a real... All the way. It was a jeweler. What were they dressed as? He was dressed as like a, a cholo. Not joking. I think that was just his attire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was, he was just, just there hawking some jewelry, and I was like, that's my guy. I'm gonna go to that booth. His anime costume was a <laughs> cholo from Dallas. And he was like, yo, man, I just got here this morning. I was trying to so, yeah. sell some jewelry. Oh yeah, I'm a yeah, I'm a uh, swamit cholo. It's like, it's like button. Right you, he sounded just yeah, like that. Just to the top. He's like, I just got oh, back yeah. from a car show. Yeah, he's uh, is uh, Cypress Hill man. You want the? He's cool. Just blood on that. <laughs> just like cleaning it off. <laughs> he's like, you want to buy a, a necklace that has a lion on it? Yeah. It's kind of like anime. Yeah, you like it's lions? Like it. You don't have to buy it with the lion. No, you can get one like that sword. You can get one with nothing. Or that Jesus crying. Or that yeah. Jesus. You want the Jesus? You want the Mary? You like half the Jesus? A, you get a ring with the Jesus? Look at this half bathtub with Mary in it. That's for your lawn. You <laughs> what? Can, yeah. Why? You can put I don't know why he was there. He was the only thing that I <laughs> bought when I was there. that a thing? That's so specific. That's, so That's what I've noticed in Texas. You have the half yeah. bathtub with Mary in it, which is great for your lawn. Also, <laughs> lawn decoration. Yeah. yeah, it's also great. That, What's a thing? So it's great that your driveway is uh, not for your car. That your lawn is also. <laughs> you got to fit it in. There's a lot of people living in the house, but, but the the driveway is still not being utilized. <laughs> but need that space for barbecue. Oh, that's true. I'm mm -hmm. not knocking the people. It's just funny because it's like people. the two things you have is one is an El Camino <laughs> on the lawn next to a half bathtub of Mary. <laughs> Are you talking about my family? You need to stop talking about my family. <laughs> <laughs> we have an El Camino. You really? Yeah. I've known many people with El Caminos. Yeah, they're awesome. Oh, no, I've been. Believe me. The El Camino's not the people. Oh, yeah. No, no. No, no. I knew what you meant. I didn't agree to that. No, growing up where I grew up, you, you see them all the time. Any kind of like a motor city car, man. dude, you saw them. And I like the El Caminos. El Caminos are like half utility, half style, man. Yeah, they're the, they're the truck car, if yeah. people don't know. They're confused. They're like the non-binary. They're basically uh, what ch cars. basically Cheech and Chong were like, we need a car that's high. And they were like, El Camino. There you go. It's a truck. Throw some it's stuff a in the back. Get Put a high. hot tub back there yeah. if you want. A full frame, <laughs> baby. Yeah, yeah. Fill it with water and ladies. Exactly. I liked it. <laughs> they should be, hey, yeah. You know what I don't like? My plane blowing up when I'm in it, in the sky. True. <laughs> you like that? I like that. Southwest it plane caught segue. on fire midair. Smooth. I, I fly exclusively Southwest. Wow, you're that uh, lucky. Because I am living on the high level. <laughs> I also We have a to... clip of it, by the way. Oh, <laughs> well, there's a clip of it? Yeah. Play it. <laughs> Dave, what are you doing if you're in this plane? If I'm on Southwest, yeah. I'm already upset. Wow. 
I, I used that's to take Southwest a lot, but now they're late every. That's what sucks about Dude, that plane. Yes. Is you're already late to your own death. <laughs> I like to end. Like you, it's too. been an hour. You, this is probably your third flight you've had to get on to die. <laughs> Like, you probably had to stay in a crappy motel the night before, before you die. Already have lice. It's sad. Like, it's, yeah, it's no good. I, I'd be terrified. Like, there's really not much I could do. I would just look out the window and go, this is about right. Like, oh, okay, I get it. I deserve it. I'm going down. And in my head, I would just hear, like, the Alanis Morissette song, ironic. <laughs> you know what's ironic? None of the examples that she lists in that song are... Irony? Irony. No, no, it's just bad things. <laughs> it's just bad writing. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a bad song. The only thing that's ironic. That song. Yeah, the only thing that's yeah. The only thing that's ironic about that is that she doesn't understand the term ironic. <laughs> Over her head. Yeah. She put out a play called Jagged Little Pill. Oh a yeah. A play. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a play. I guess it's a pill that's ja it's hard to swallow. Oh, oh she's so That's ironic. She's so poetic. I know, right? Yeah, he had one album when you were 20. No one cares. I care. I would feel bad. I would be on the plane just thinking, you know what? I should have flown any, but I had to save those nine bucks. It is a small amount that you do save. It's but not I, worth it. It feels like a lot, though. I'm like, the, I don't want to pay yeah, like 30 bucks. Pay the fees and the bags. Yeah. Like the the little else. bags, and they make you pay for every little thing. And then you mm -hmm. want the early boarding, so you're like, I'll pay the extra $25, but then somehow you're still in B6. Yeah, and then you Dude, get the chair that, that smells like farts. Yes. And then, of course, it's you're, hard. you're sitting there, and you're like, oh, there's not going to be anybody in the middle, and then the fattest person you've ever seen comes on the plane. <laughs> the, the plane goes like this. Yeah, and it's right next you're to like, you. Oh. And then you look at the flight attendant and you're like, can I still use this as a flotation device or are we going to burn alive? I guess I would burn start alive, being sir. sarcastic. I would go, hey, did everybody live life to their fullest? <laughs> hey, is everybody... The answer is no. Is everybody's <laughs> dreams fulfilled? <laughs> hey, we're about to die on Southwest. Is everyone here as satisfied as I am with my choices? <laughs> you tell the stewardess like, hey, it's on fire. What do you expect? It's yeah, Southwest. really. Yeah. You pay for that. Global warming. Yeah, yeah. They, they blamed global these warming. These birds are just Honestly, on fire. It's, it's COVID, you're obviously. Do. You're not wearing your mask. Yeah, Put well, your mask on and it wouldn't be on fire. No one got hurt. I would probably... <laughs> well, that's... So no one got hurt? No one got hurt. They, they lived? They, yeah, they landed the plane well, and they checked it. Why are we mechanical. talking about this? Because oh, that's I was great expecting news. they saw fireballs coming out of the engine. Can you believe that's I made scary. all those jokes thinking they all died? Dang it. So anyway... Oh, good. No, did they all? They all just landed the plane and they we're were good. good? Yeah. <laughs> so Southwest just yeah. owes more people money. Yeah. Why don't they just shut down business now? They should. Are they blaming global warming? No, I, that was just a joke that I made. Oh, I figured they might. <laughs> <laughs> I was hard just saying, to tell it's these so days. hot out there. These plates. <laughs> it's hard to tell. <laughs> you know how it is. I'd be like, what? It's sixty-eight in Chicago where I was last week. They're like, I know, but you know, here, it's like over hot. here, though. I mean, it's really come hot. On. Like, it's hot sure? every year. Yeah, but it changes, so it's globally warming and So the airplane cooler. didn't crash, but do you know what did? What? What? Russian space shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Russian space shit? Yeah. But, I, but oh, okay. I just invested all my money in that. <laughs> Is that what my Bitcoin's paying for? Yes. Are you yeah. talking about... No. I did look this one up. <laughs> I've lost it all. It's all on the surface of the moon. Luna 25? Luna 25. <laughs> How many times do we need to go Use to the moon? Use promo code Luna 25. <laughs> yes. For 25 For 100% off, off yeah. your spaceship yeah. today. Yeah. What's up with crafts like blowing up and, and imploding and stuff this year? <laughs> Apparently we're getting stupider because the first one that went up had shag carpeting. The, fir the, the first... The first... Air, the first... Ever? Uh, the first rocket that went up with people in it. Really? And shag carpet. Dude, I would be on yeah. the record. That sounds nice. Have you seen flush? the first... Uh... The one that didn't get off the ground or... No, the one that actually made it to the moon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, the the first ones that didn't do so hot. Apollo? They put it in an Apollo mission? There was like some real... There's some real silly looking uh, spacecrafts. Well, I mean, if, you, if you're on the internet. Yeah. Well, I mean... Didn't have them. Granted, yes, Never. I know the Earth is flat. Of course. I mean, most... I, we know, live in a simulation of a flat Earth I can't where the moon that. doesn't exist. Comments. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Bro, <laughs> the flat Earth is real. Get with it. Think about it, guys. Shields, you freaking uh, spherical shields. <laughs> Globe cucks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, it's fine. That's why... <laughs> 
Like what if we lived in 1992? They took their most expensive ships. Why would we live on a on a sphere? <laughs> if like, the sphere, bro, it's like I want to live on the sphere. I want to be stuck to the sphere, dude. <laughs> That's what I want to live on the sphere, bro. I don't want to live on a flat Earth. Why? Yeah, no. Well, I think from what I understand, at least from the completely made up uh, pictures from space, <laughs> yes, explain, explain. It appears to be that we do live in a sphere. How do you explain that, though? What, did you check it, bro? No, but I would I, like to know that we live on a sphere, but I just don't believe it. I've but, never seen it with my own eyes. But people keep saying too, like, okay, when when you know when the Apollo landed, and you have you know Buzz Aldrin and the gang, Neil wow. Armstrong, they're like, who held the camera? It was on the leg. <laughs> You ain't never heard of a tripod, son? (laughs) It's on the leg. And then people go, well, how were they able to broadcast it? They got to the moon. (laughs) You didn't think they could... They figured out the broadcasting part. They couldn't broadcast it, but they got to the moon? I could see Uh, them. I could see it being... (laughs) I could see it being faked. I could see why. I can see it being faked to beat Russia. I mean, especially now if they're still blowing stuff up. Well, they they can't even get there. And it doesn't have people in it. Oh, I guess they can get well, there. They got right. there. <laughs> Just can't get back. I mean, we know for sure the Apollo 13 was a swing and a miss. Yeah. Because they came back and were like, well, that was fun to look at. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> it was basically... They live that one down. Like, they basically just saw, like... And they quit. The worst part of New Mexico from a window. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Talk about like dying on that. a Southwest flight. That's, oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's what that feels yeah, like. Yeah, they were just got back. They were like, it was pretty cold in there. <laughs> like, how Let's was, never go back. Yeah. How was your space mission? It was really, I was pooping in a thing that didn't land. In my, in my suit. Yeah. I it was like in there and it was just like riding around and they're just jingling around. We thought Zero we were, G poop is not cool. Thought we were going to die. It was didn't. We could scary. live every day knowing we didn't accomplish it. Don't ask Remember me the more questions. Remember the crazy please. astronaut that wore the diaper and went to kill her yeah, boss? She yeah, drove across she's the my country. favorite one. Yeah, yeah, she's my faves. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> I think she's the true pioneer. she in jail? Did they take her to jail? No. Mm, no way. Right? She's out. Nah, she's, she's got to be out. smart. Could she be on the... We hey, come her. on the show. <laughs> come on our show. Crazy astronaut lady that wore the diaper. I want to see you on the show. I mean, it's odd that she's she wore the diaper because she didn't want to stop and use the bathroom, but she did have to stop to get gas. Well, yeah, you want to cut it down though. Like if you're getting gas and going poop, at I know, the same but time, it's just that's figures you're shaving might. off time. She's smart. That's why she is an astronaut. Yeah, do both. I mean, you could let it pump while you ran inside. Apparently, she's dead. That's true. Yeah. Oh, is she dead? Oh, what happened? I don't know. That's Infection? what Ken said. And I'm inclined not to believe it. Oh, I don't no, want to believe it. She's on the other right. side of the flat Earth. She's on the underside. Is she? Is this like a coin flipped over how, the other side? I don't think there is another side. What? I don't know. I, like, that's not what I read on Reddit. From what <laughs> I understand, you can't dig to China. Is this true? I tried. What what kind of utensils did you have? Did she's you have like dead. official? She's not she, dead. Get on the show. Get on the show. Come on. I want to meet her. I want to talk you. to her about one. I want to space. I sec this. Yeah. If there's a she's flat in the Navy? Earth, she was in the Navy. Mm-hmm. Come on. There you go. At Normal World TV. You're one. I'm sure she was an amazing Come lover. On. Well, well, obviously. She was crazy. That's when I that's why. Those are the best lovers. The she ones can take a lot of G's, if you know what I mean. Yeah. If a girl's willing to put on a diaper to come and murder you, she's probably pretty good <laughs> in the sack. That's dedication. Yeah. She loves you. She'll yeah. do whatever you want. Whatever. Yeah. Anywhere. She's, she's not afraid. Yeah, she'll let you put it wherever you like. <laughs> She'll ride that Except rocket. on the moon, because that didn't happen. Except in another woman. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the only thing off limits. <laughs> Except in your life though. 20 she's years trad. later. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Uh, I would like to interview her and just be like, yeah, so, be I'm not joking. Come on the show. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll have I know our, she listens. I know we'll have listen. our guy reach out to her. Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, we will. Well, maybe not a guy. Could be a tax issue. I was trying issue. to, she was trying to be, be discreet. Conspicuous. Yeah. Well, tomorrow night, guys, speaking of guys and girls, I know a lot of ladies watching thems and theys. Actually, there's, we have 8% female audience. Do we really? YouTube. I didn't know that. That's actually really high. So that thanks, is? ladies. That's wow. really high, yeah. Well. Uh, there you go. Thank you, ladies. I think it's all for Dave. Lady. There's a lot of ladies is. that like the Dave. Is that true? That's, That's true. true. I see it on mm. all over the social medias. Because mm? I'm a flat earther. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And a generous lover. Flat earther. I like my ladies flat like earth. Oh, 
you know, not a fat what? bottom girl. Oh. You know, like like a like. I'm going for the fat, flat fat bottom girls, girls are cool too. Yeah, I mean, double missile. Just don't keep them around. Me. Make the rocking <laughs> world go <laughs> round. <laughs> Maybe if they smiled more. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Maybe if you smiled more, you wouldn't miss your tits you, you so would much. You distract from your <laughs> bored chest. <laughs> from your ruined tits. Now, I would have taken the money back if you had said that. You yeah. should have. No, no, you wouldn't. You would have no, just taken it. I would have given said, the money right over. Okay. You, thank uh, you. You're right. I love a homeless person, though, that tell like, we should dress up as a homeless person and then roast people as they <laughs> give you money. Just tell them what's wrong with them. Like, as they give you and money, see like, if they... Your car's terrible. What? I'm just saying. Get a car <laughs> wash. Nice girl car. <laughs> it's all the trash in there. I would like, be I'm more sorry. willing to give somebody money if they held up a sign that said, like, I'll roast you. $5. I've seen that. I've seen that. I would, I'd be curious. I, I saw <laughs> one. Some work. They lit a man on fire. Oh. Oh. No, it was bad. Where was this? In the Vegas. Uh, okay. I was going to say Dearborn. Yeah. It was a tragedy. It was during Mandalay Bay, much like Maui. I didn't get to hear the final song. <laughs> so tomorrow night, you can hear us at the RNC debate of the 2024 presidential oh. primary season. It's the first one. Oh. Uh, we're going to be joined by, uh, well, not we. Not us. We're, I'm going to be Nobody joined. wants to hear us. Well, I, I'm going to kind of be there, I guess. I'm going to join uh, Glenn Beck, Sarah Gonzalez, Ooh. Mr. Stu, Ooh. Steve. I, I don't always know so many. his name. Steve Dace. I know that. Yeah. He, he wrote, uh, didn't he write Nefarious? Yes, he did. Yeah, which I, I I like to talk movies, and I want to I talk to him about that. We should definitely do that. Yeah, I really do. We'll wanna, write that down. I want to talk movies with the man. Anyway, I shouldn't just say that out loud. Just, just use tomorrow as an opportunity to do that. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm Right in the middle of the debate. Be like, look, nobody cares about DeSantis or Trump or anything. Well, nefarious. realistically, nefarious. Who's going to... We, well, they, we can't watch more than three minutes at a time. Really? Yeah, you could just like a legal thing. That. Yeah. No, yeah, they own the rights to it. We, we don't. You can't watch. The Fox owns the rights to the whole debate. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, it's Fucking a whole thing. Fox. So I don't know how we're gonna do this, but we are gonna figure out a way to tap dance around it to cover it. So I do hope you watch it with us. You can join us at blazetv.com and use code DEBATE all caps at checkout and save twenty five percent off a year subscription. Twenty five percent using the code. Debate. 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 Duh. Also, Debate. this weekend, you can see me at the Improv in Denver. I'll be joined by other comedians from other Fox shows, too, uh, like Gutfeld, which will include Michael Loftus and Joe DeVito. I'll be at the Improv. And then you can see me September 1st and 2nd at the Funny Bone in Des Moines, Iowa. September 18th and 19th at Fasani's in Port Charlotte, Florida. September 22 and 23 at the Wonders Theater in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And right here in Dallas, September 27th at Hyenas. But that's Fort Worth. It says Fort Worth on the screen. I think that's incorrect. Oh, that's, Yeah, that's not correct. Oh, yeah, that's not correct. I'll be in Dallas. Okay. But in you Dallas. guys should all come. It's I am Wednesday. totally going to that. We're going to go right from this show to that show. Heck yeah. Garrett's going to be there. Buy your tickets. September 27th, Garrett will come up on stage. We'll do a Q&A. Oh, do I'll do that. I'll give you some money. Don't pay me. I'll, I'll do it as well I'll then. go up there. <laughs> sandwiches. <laughs> Angela will come too. You I'll can do, ask her questions. Don't worry about it. I'll give her money. I'll get his share and I'll do... Okay, I'll you can it. have it. I'll take the cucumber sandwiches. I will take a good amount. Matt will be here too, McClowry. Oh, oh really? Heck we're going to yes. have a whole thing. Dude, come out. Come on. September 27th, come out to Hyenas. It's going to be fun. They're all going to go. They yeah. just promised. I'll give, of course, I pay everybody. I pay too You're very generous. Yeah. Thank was one you, time Daddy we, Dave. We, I first you. met you, and we did a show, and I, I ran the, the TriCaster when you were talking to Anthony. Yes. And it was, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'll stay after late. And you were like, here you go. $2. Yeah, I try to be $2 nice. $2 bill. <laughs> it was I, more than $2. <laughs> I was like, dude, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? You're so generous. You well, always give out. You, you shined my shoes. I did. And then While you, you were doing the show, I was like, shuk, 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 shuk. no, I've never understood why people aren't generous. Not that I should say that that I am. I'm trying weird. to be like, be more like that. I try to go be. out to go out to eat or something, or you know, do more tips. Yeah, I, I always do that because I think. Well, I was a server. Yeah, me too. And I think it's awful how servers get treated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not all the time. I mean, some of them get treated very well. Don't get me wrong. And some servers suck. But for the most part, the fact when people don't tip or treat them poorly, it mm -hmm. makes me. Makes me very angry. I always clean up. I clean up my table. Oh, yeah. Make sure it's nice and tight so yeah. you can take it and pick it off. 
Yeah, well, I, I remember being a server, and I was like, do you want to know the specials? And the guy goes, yeah, I don't know what's so special about it. And I said, it's on the endangered species list. And the guy goes, yeah, what is it? And I go, it's your wife's putangy. I'm about to wreck it. And then I got fired. <laughs> nice. Is that a real story? Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't use the word putang. But yeah, I was fired. <laughs> <laughs> That's also drunk. Code debate. <laughs> Code debate. <laughs> Code twenty five percent off. Twenty five percent off tomorrow night. Code debate. Where are you going to be, son? I'm going to be on Friday night tights on Friday on the Nerdrotic channel, and you can go watch uh, Forbidden Frontier on Nerdrotic Live. We did an awesome show where we're talking to this guy called uh, Luke Caverns, and he's going down to Maya and like. Searching all the temples and stuff. Oh, wow. He's really knowledgeable about all the past and, and uh, the Yucatan. With the last name Caverns, I mean, how could he do anything I know, right? Yeah. He better freaking go down in those caverns, but it was really cool. So caverns. go watch that if you like <laughs> all that stuff. Could you imagine if he didn't? I know. But like, you're not living up it's to your potential. It's either that or porn actor. So. Yeah, that's true. And <laughs> that's a great <laughs> porn name. He would have to be. He would definitely have to be a burly bottom. <laughs> Luke Caverns. Burly bottom, Hi. boys, you make. <laughs> Carol, go around. <laughs> See y'all tomorrow. Luke Evans.